Just because you tried it once and it failed doesn't mean you don't adjust and try again. Try it a different way. Just because you didn't get it right the first time doesn't mean we stop doing it. Well, hello everybody. I hope you're doing amazing today and uh, wherever you are right now in the world and whenever you're watching this that you've had an awesome day. And if not, I hope that after watching this, it will become even more awesome. So I want to talk to you today about the three killers of business. You know, I do these videos hoping that I'm giving you some insight and some ahas on how to be a better leader and how to show up every single day a little differently. Now, I don't know how you're taking them. I don't know how you're digesting them. But I do know this is that these all come from my heart. So when I say things like I'm going to say right now in this training, I hope you take it from the heart knowing that I am really only invested in you being the best leader you possibly can. I often say, I hope to create leaders like unto Moses, that people will follow them even though they might not know where they're going for 40 years, but that their vision is so strong, that their belief is so strong, that their commitment to excellence and wherever it is they are going so strong that their entire team will follow them wherever they take them. So I hope that these are serving you in that way. Today, I'm going to talk to you about the three killers of business. Now, I'm going to preface this by saying, uh, I'll do another preface, I should say, by saying that I believe all of these things have affected not just you, but have affected so many leaders, including myself, inside my business. Um, The first one is that I already know that. The first killer is the I already know that killer, meaning that you hear something and you've heard it before and you're like, yeah, 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 I already know that. I used to teach in my trainings as one of my rules that you have not, that you've got to stop yourself from saying, I know that, because that just stops you from moving forward in any way, uh, shape, shape or form. Brendan Burchard, a great uh, mentor and a great uh, influencer, he says that there's a, there's a major difference between common knowledge and common practice. And I would say that many people know what they need to do They just don't practice what they need to do. Every single one of you knows that if you want to lose weight, you need to eat less and move more, right? Everyone knows that. There's not a single person on this planet who doesn't understand if you want to lose weight and get better health, you need to eat less and move more. And yet we don't always practice that. So that's the first killer of business. When you hear yourself saying, I already know that, then you're stopping yourself from moving forward because just because you know it doesn't mean you're doing it. And until you do it, and you see the behavior change, you can't judge the behavior change before the change occurs. The second one is, I already tried that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I've tried a consultant before. Oh yeah, yeah, I've tried to do that before. It's fascinating to me that so many people talk about it that way. Like, oh yeah, I've done that, so therefore it doesn't work. Even though it might be working for someone else, even though there's proof behind it that it does work. It's funny, I think that there's a phrase that I hear more often than not, which is when it comes to having uh, done something before, it, the phrase is at some point. People use that phrase all the time and most owners use that as an excuse of like, yeah, I know we were gonna do that at some point, but we just didn't, it's like, or I told them to do that at some point, I just, I, somehow it fell off. Well, it fell off because you did not create the systems that you needed to make sure that it was following through. So when you do stuff like that, it's like, oh, I already tried that, like you dismiss it, Just because you tried it once and it failed doesn't mean you don't adjust and try again. Try it a different way. Just because you didn't get it right the first time doesn't mean we stop doing it. And the third killer of your business is, I got a better idea. Like you'll hear somebody lay out a path for you. You'll say, if you do these things, this is what the result will be. And you then jump in and say, you know, I got a better idea than this. I'm going to figure it out. I used to have an old mentor back when I was doing real estate, geez, 20 years ago. And his name is Ron Legrand. He's an old crotchety old man. But he used to say that the only thing that will screw up this plan is your better idea. And that's true in so many cases. It's in, in what I do and the, the teams that I work with, if they, the teams that follow the path, the teams that just do what they're supposed to do and they actually do the exercises and they keep it front of mind and they keep always talking about it. They're the ones who get the results. I was just on a phone call yesterday that was really a fun phone call for me just because, you know, every once in a while, I need the praise too. I need the the attaboys, you know? And I had a a core team on that was just talking the entire time. They spent the whole 45 minutes talking to me about 
how things have changed and shifted and how much they love it and how everyone's so happy and it's affecting both them and their personal life and in their home life and the doctor's happier and he's a totally different person and this one guy in the lab who never um, really uh, came out to see them and he was just a different character. He's totally different. Everyone's different and we're seeing it also now in our patients and we're getting more closes and I'm sitting there just kind of smiling and laughing and, and listening to it and loving everything they're saying, but also going, yeah, I know. It's kind of like that moment, like, I told you so. Like, if you would just do what I tell you to do. And then I have the exact opposite. I have people who want to do it their own way or won't find the time or are too busy, even though they hired me because things weren't working right. And then they just won't do the things they need to do. They just won't get down, hunker down and put everything away and just focus on this. I was at an event two weeks ago, and this brings this up in my mind. I was at an event uh, two or three weeks ago where there was a person on stage who said, stop reading books. He's like, too many of you are just get, uh, reading books to gain information. You've got enough information in your head that you need to move forward. What you need to do is focus on the thing that is right in front of you. And when you conquer that, then go to the next thing. And if you need a book to help you out with that or some training to help you out with that, then go to the next thing. But for me, that spoke to me big time because I listen to books all the time. I've got two or three books happening in my head all the time I because I do um, uh, audio books. So I listen to them in my car and at work here. And I'm always listening to different things. But I'm right now, because of that thing, I went, oh, I'm really trying to hone in on this uh, internet and understand how to crack the code for Facebook ads and things like that for myself and my business and for my clients. And so I'm like, okay, that's all I'm going to do is hunker down on this. That's all I'm going to hunker down on this. So stop trying to learn so many different things. Try, stop trying to find a better way. If you've found a path to get to where you think you want to go, once you know where you want to go and what you want, then stick to that. Just stick to that. So I would, uh, I wanted to give you one last bonus thing. I know we're at about uh, seven minutes here, but I want to give you one more bonus that I've been seeing lately. Actually, I'm not going to give that to you. I'm going to create a whole another post around it. All right, I'll create a whole other video around that. Well, I hope that serves you. Don't forget the three killers of business. I already know that, I already tried that, and I've got a better idea. All right, we'll talk to you soon.